Welcome, gamers, to our twisted reality. Open the gate. Bogue approaches. Joystick. The joystick show. All right, welcome everybody to the Joystick Show, episode 137A. We're back here at the beginning of November. Can you believe it's November? I just like did my taxes. It's like, yeah. what's going on with this? The older I get, the, like the faster day. Do you feel that in your age? Uh, I guess. A little bit? Yeah, a Wasn't little just bit like, this year. Didn't like Santa just bring us something not too long ago? Now he's back again, hopefully. Christmas feels a good bit ago. Does but, it? Um, summer definitely feels... Yeah. Just like it just happened. That's true. Well, uh, welcome everybody to the Joystick Show. If you haven't heard uh, before, you're just checking us out. We go by our gamer tags. I'm Bogue Spear. And I'm Thing12. And we are a father and son combo. We talk video games, generational differences. Uh, I go way, 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 way back. I had a couple more ways. Every time it seems like I click the mic. Um, and my son, a more modern day action. Uh, we're talking... Uh, video games, and uh, if you want to be a part of it always, we appreciate it. You're anointed Rumble Pack. You are a part of the Rumble Pack. If you're listening right now, they can get a hold of us how? You can get a hold of us at Joystick underscore show on Twitter, joystickshow.com, or our Discord at Joystick Space Show, and then our email, joystickshow at gmail.com. All right. So uh, we can always say this is, the, uh, this is the part where we usually do the sponsor segment, right? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to do one called the Patreon and it's a sponsor to all of our supporters that have yet to support us on Patreon. We will have it up soon. This is a real life support request, not a spoof sponsor. Thanks in advance. Are we gonna do that? We're we gonna put it up there. I I won't. No? If you want to, you can. Okay. Well, so, so, you know, just yeah. trying to do something real, spoofing real. We're spoofing them on the Patreon. Ah. Uh. Right. What's in it? So let's talk on the gaming front. That's what we're doing, right? What right. are we playing? I know you said you've had you've had a lot of schoolwork. You've been you've been gaming the the schoolwork online, haven't you? Yeah. I How's don't that know. game going? How's the grades going? Because that's your final score. School's great. Good. Good. Yeah. Getting good 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 um, ratings. Good. Let you're leveling up. Mm-hmm. Mentally. But yeah, I mean, I've been playing a lot of old games that I've talked about plenty of times, like Valorant. Um, but that's I haven't played anything new. Nothing new out. Yeah. Well, I know what you want to play. Yeah. The new Spider-Man game came out mid. Uh, about a week ago. Yeah. Over a week ago, almost two weeks ago. Have you seen any response or reviews? I have. I've just been avoiding it all. Yeah. Just, just so I don't oh, have to see spoilers it. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, but I don't. I don't know when I'll end up playing it. Yeah. Um, but well, we don't have a five. That's why. Right. Right. It's yeah. only five. It's only five. Yeah. It's yeah. supposed to look really good too. So I'm not mad. It's on the five, but yeah. I don't know. I uh, yeah. I don't know when I'll be able to play that, but. Uh, well, maybe maybe around the holidays, right? Yeah, I might I might go ahead and pick one up for Black Friday. We'll see. Man, that's a lot of dough though for one game. Yeah, right? yeah. Because what but else would you play on it? The um, I don't know. I was looking at uh, there's this game called Ghost of Shusima. I can't pronounce it. Shusima. Uh huh. I don't know how to pronounce it, but Is it's a city? really good um like Japanese uh samurai game. Okay. I don't know. I think I've been, since, I guess, I don't know, I've become less competitive when it comes to playing games. Like, I used to just play, like, um, just, I used to play, like, a, like, when, like, years ago when we weren't really doing much. Yeah. I would play, like, hours on hours of just competitive, like, uh, like, Valorant, like I was talking about, or, like, Fortnite or whatever I was playing. Right. And now it's just, like, I find more fun just after, like, towards the end of the night, just playing, like, a single player uh, good like story mission game right um you're not getting soft which on which ps which ps5 has a lot of or ps i guess ps does yeah. has a lot of so yeah i mean there's there's a ton of things there but so you're just becoming more and more of an introvert not want to talk to anybody or do anything just play your own games well i mean i'm playing i guess i'm playing less and less but when i right. play a little bit can you, do you at least talk to your buddies while you're um, playing your solo games or no uh nah no oh my nah, god it's more you fun just... to just to You're enjoy just all the story. up there, all in your own sauce, your yep. own mind, and everything. Playing that's huh? fun. All right, all right. Well, unlike you, I am not. I am not. Uh, well, I'm not doing competitive. I don't like a lot of competitive stuff, anyways. Yeah. Right. 
So, but I did break out. Actually, got to thank Old Peculiar for the game. Uh, we are going through it. He said, you got to play this. Boulder's Gate 3, mm-hmm. I have been playing nothing but for the past month mm-hmm. since it came out. Uh, well, not since it came out. Like, probably a week after it came out, mm-hmm. I got it. And um, if you're listening and hopefully you're playing, you can uh, uh, agree with me on this. This game um, it really has changed uh, a, a level up from all of the other uh, uh, base games, uh, uh, role-playing games, things that have been out there in the past. I mean, the, even the, I'd say the graphics are even much better um, on it as well. Obviously, I'm I'm also playing on the computer right now, so I haven't played uh, PC-based, um, but mm-hmm. I'm sorry, uh, console-based. But um, I have to say, just the fact, because I'm a, such a turn-based guy, right? The fact that this game offers um, real time mm-hmm. while it's non-combative, mm-hmm. and then when you turn into combat, it turns into um, turn-based, is fabulous. Just awesome. It takes the Gloomhaven concept with the turn base, right? But gets rid of the whole card and kind of the board gamey feel, but adds back in a, a truly um, deep, very depth, deep too, it's deep. Um, the depth of the game is is uh, you would expect, right, for the amount of time it took to build. But it uses the five um, the five E uh, Dungeons and Dragons base concepts, right? So if you've ever played in that world before, I mean, a lot of the spells, a lot of the items, mm-hmm. a lot of stuff, right, you're familiar with, somewhat, mm-hmm. right? So um, it's pretty decent like that. You get to choose your character, build your character. But the interesting thing is, I'm playing right now with uh, with OPQ. We got just a co op going on. And you can bring two other guys along with you. So you can have four players, right? For, right. Uh, or if you don't, it's awesome because the AI lets you group together one. So you kind of manage two guys and he manages two guys or gals. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. So you can still put the full party together and go out there. And because it's turn-based now, you don't have to worry about you know having somebody out there just bashing yeah, buttons, uh-huh. swinging and doing all this t- crazy stuff. That's what's horrible about Diablo. This game makes Diablo look like a 1980s game mm-hmm. because of that system, right? It allows you to take the time, you learn your character, you get to so you get to role play it. So I mean, if you're a button masher, love just the you know, raw just the onslaught and just, you know, pictures and like of of rings of colors going everywhere as as uh, spells are launched mm-hmm. and things are shot. Until somebody dies, mm-hmm. right? Until you watch your health and have to jam on a healing potion real fast, mm-hmm. right? This is not your game. So this allows you to kind of strategize how right. you want to take advantage of it. Yeah. Have you seen any of the response or the videos or anything? No, I don't follow it that much. I don't follow it really at all. I know that it's like uh, that it's just Dungeons and Dragons, but uh, you know, yeah, online. So I just like I don't know I didn't pick it up I didn't look into it but I heard it was really good for people who like well, just Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. Well, it's interesting because you you like the you played that Fable game or um, Zelda game, right? And you're loving that. What? Which? The one you're showing me where you could go on and on and on playing, playing, and playing. Weren't Zelda, playing? the new one that yeah. came out. What about it? You played that for a long time, right? Yeah. It's like that. It's nothing like that. As far as your character developing, your character doing cool things with your character. Um, forging things together. This is something that, by the way, Boulder's Gate offers. You put two things it's, together, it come, and it, it forms whatever, a new potions. It, it does a lot of different uh, pieces like that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very cool. It's, yeah, but it's not it's Tell not me like why that. you did, Tell me why you don't like, or you think it's completely different. Because, well, one, it's not turn-based. Yep. There's no, like, dice rolling. There's none of that. Right. Um, it is, like, a, well, it's single player. Yep. Um, and it has like in depth like combat that you like you like you can go in being not good at like combat or fighting or whatever it is, right? And then just based on skill alone, you'd be able to like I guess be better than other people because you can bash buttons faster than other people. Yeah, it's more. I'd say it's more on like. Like you're saying, it's nothing like Diablo, so but I say then probably it's more like Diablo. I don't think it's like any of those games, really? but it's it's like if you're comparing, if you're saying Boulder's well, Gate is much to say. closer to Diablo than it is to Zelda. Well, I guess and the, it's not you, close to Diablo. Yeah, but you can't you can't uh, I guess compare when you're saying a single. It's only single player versus what this is, right? Because this is all campaign based, right? Multiplayers. One person going in trying to do all this isn't going to win, no matter what. I mean. You must have, you know, the rules. I can understand the rule thing because that is more geeky. That's more D&D based, right, um, on results. 
But well, it's I'm just thinking the, about building a character, the, building a, a um. You don't. You don't even build your. I mean, you. I guess you. I guess the one way it's similar is you collect, and I don't even know if this is true about yeah. uh, Boulder's Gate, but it's you collect um, like weapons and armor. Yep. And then you have that that you can switch through. Right. Exactly. So, you can put them on, take them off. Matter of um, fact, you can be proficient in some armor and not in others. Okay. Like so, it goes even deeper like that. Um. But yeah, no, it's just, it's, I mean, also like, I don't know, what's the story like? I, I was going to say, I was just about to say storyline. How's the story? Like our storyline is pretty decent. You know me, I get like AD, I, I can't keep track of stories. Like I don't like them mm-hmm. many times. There's only been a few games. Mm-hmm. This one I'm into because it, it, it takes you a little bit longer to do things mm-hmm. so it can seep in and they kind of reiterate the different pieces of it as you go through it as yeah. well. Yeah. So there's a way to kind of track it, and see, you know what I mean, and remember what it is you're doing. Right. Also, because I'm playing a lot more, mm-hmm. I'm not like in be- like a week in between plays. Yeah. Where I'm like, now so what did I like, just do? You know? Yeah, but I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't think it's anything like that. But that you you're interested in trying? No, no. All right. Well, like I said, it's one of those games. It's certainly. Um, you got to be into the turn-based thing for sure. I don't disagree because once that happens, it changes the whole flow, right, of yeah. the game. More strategic than it is just action yeah. um, on it. But great game. Um, I, you know the depth of the of the items that you can use. Um, I mean, it looks like they literally regurgitated the, all the rule books, everything into the game, mm-hmm. and made it work as far as how to uh, yeah. design it, camp out, right, rest. Um, all this type of stuff. We really haven't even uh, battled any major baddies yet either, re- honestly, and yet still having fun. I can't imagine when we come up to that, you know what I mean? Yeah. If we can get our guys up with our levels and so forth, because the spells, they all change. I mean, different classes, right? You mm-hmm. have different spells on it. So um, the coolest thing is I'm a rogue, mm-hmm. and it's like back in the day with like backstab, but you can actually hide and look mm-hmm. on the map and go over someplace and mm-hmm. then and then jump, you know, take advantage of it. So there's some there's a lot of str- str- strategery mm-hmm. associated with that too, with the characters that you play, too. Yeah, so, love it, love it, love it. Long time. So Boulder's Gate Three, uh, definitely check it out. From what we, if you're interested, you have any type of geekness in you whatsoever mm-hmm. from old school role playing. Um, you know, between the two, I would say hands down, this is the game uh, to pick up. So, been playing that. Good stuff. All right, um, that's pretty much it. Let's now move to the news. The Joystick News Report. Joystick News. All right, so in the news, um, first of all, do I have to say I told you so? On the whole graphics, you see what happened with Star uh, Starfield? No. Yeah, they're doing a huge graphics overhaul on it. Hmm. Updating it, for, making it for, better. For PC? Because it was so bad that overhaul, free um, upgrade for everybody. Because because you, you were saying on Xbox it was bad. No, I was playing. Hang on, I'm good. Um, yeah, so it was basically um, set up to where I'm not sure. I have to look at it and see. Maybe you can find it. But it's because uh, it looks like everything is shut down on me. All of my stuff I just had open. I don't know. Um, so, anyways, the um, uh, the piece was they went through and they said that they were. Actually updating it, and let's see, it's that's through smarts. I don't think it's gonna bring it up. See, so wants the full article, but I gotta download the uh, yeah, the app it's, for yeah, it. but it's two months since Bethesda's latest uh, um, Starfield was released, and it said they're doing a big overhaul on it. I assume it's across the board on it, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I'll have to download it and take a look at it and see, but um, anyways. Interesting thing is that I agree that initially it needed some work. It needed some support. Mm-hmm. The community agreed with that. Mm-hmm. Um, they went in. Now, a lot of it was done mod. Like, people would go in and mod it, mm-hmm. right, and make these changes. People are going to mod it from the start. Well, yeah. I know. But the, but uh, Bethesda um, got a ton of criticism because they're like, all these people saying, yeah, you let your, uh, your mod people work for free, free labor, and fix mm-hmm. all this stuff for you, right? Mm-hmm. And you don't do it. And there, and that wasn't cool. So they actually started working on it. They came back, and now they have this big old patch mm. and update for it as well. Um, haven't played it uh, much. Have you jumped on it all? Tried no, it? I have not. No. Now is that something you'd be interested in, or no? You don't like that Starfield? Yeah. Yeah, that type of game. Yeah, but Starfield just didn't do it for me. Because like the... I liked, I liked when a long time ago I played Fallout Four. Yeah. Um, which I loved, 
I don't even know if I finished it. Um, Which, by the way, Magic, Magic the Gathering. Mm-hmm. This is not a this is a board game thing, not a video game thing. Magic the Gathering just released that uh, Fallout Four is going to have their own series of cards, and of course, Marvel. They're coming yeah. out with Marvel too. Yeah, huge. But anyways, go ahead. Um, they, I like those types of games. Which these are. Yeah. This is just like Skyrim, Fallout Four, but this just didn't. Uh, I didn't. I think you hit mentioned you me. don't like the space type of stuff, right? That doesn't really I don't do like it the for space. you. I also. I think I already said, but I don't like like it just didn't run well right. on my um, computer, and that's kind of right. Big deal. Yeah, I just like because that's gotcha. I was what I, I'm. I'm more comfortable playing it on that, and it's just yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it just wasn't my thing. That's all right. I mean, that's what trying to figure out on on different things. Well, one thing you do, I said, was it you or is it uh, um, your bro? But you guys love playing the uh, Call of Duty. Um, did you see the new Modern Warfare 3's uh, zombie? Mm-hmm. They have this new zombie threat um, uh, mod as well. Um, it'll be coming up for, for Call of Duty. So I, I don't know how great it is. I know there's some um, some work being done on it and so forth. But do you think, will that take over? Because what, what are you guys playing? Or what was the big, is it like Call of Duty like 3 or something? Yeah, he like was playing. Way back or 2 or something. He was playing uh, 3. Is it 3? Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, Playing that like a lot. Like well, that. I hear there's a huge community still for that. The zombie uh, mm-hmm. version of Black... Is it Black Ops? Black Ops 3. That's it, Black Ops 3, right? Yeah. So Call of Duty, mm-hmm. uh, war, uh, Modern Warfare 3, um, is leveled with a, with a zombie zone or something um, as well. And there's some inter- interesting thing. I think... I wonder if that'll take over because obviously the graphics are way better, right? I still think I'd like to get the uh, monkey uh, bomb tattoo on me somewhere. Mm. That's just cool. This is yeah. awesome. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that, I saw that in the news as well. Um, what else? Oh, did you see, um, you know, when we talk about graphics, right? How graphics are, are coming along. Um, EA Sports with their UFC, I guess it's five now, mm-hmm. right? They were showing how like amazing these, these cut scenes, these slow-mo scenes and everything were that, that showed, uh, you know, like, like you do like with, um, what is it? Mortal Kombat. Uh-huh. You know, like when you do the combos, uh-huh. right? And you do the final blow or like in Naruto where you do the big Wait, are you out, saying, uh, ultimate. Fatalities for Mortal right. Kombat. And exactly. Yeah. X-rays. So and, what they're yeah. saying on this is that it's just amazing. Some of these cuts and they're like harsh as heck. I mean, like you almost feel it like when, you know, if they, they hit them or they, uh, knock them out yeah i mean it's just so realistic Mm -hmm. so i think i almost think i would get this game and and try it i mean you know you're in the cage right Mm -hmm. no ufc games have always been fun yeah um yeah i don't know i I mean i mean the graphics are only gonna get better so it's just gonna be funny to see right i'm wondering if it's like the old school um fight night i mean if anybody's listening and has played this let me know but with with fight night three i think it was was the first time they used the two joysticks mm-hmm. to actually move and then shoot and box mm-hmm. if you remember from the boxing it would be cool if that's the case like you'd have to hit a button that it turns to your kick right and you use your your joystick You're saying with kick. the regular controller yeah with a regular controller that, yeah well it's probably just going to be like the old ufcs yeah well, I haven't. I don't remember those. I mean, have you played the old UFCs? Uh-huh. How were they? Um, were they like that, where there was multiple like they st- were sticks, or was it a button mashing? Or can you maybe, I mean, maybe you can do both? It's all, yeah. It's yeah. all of it. It's yeah. the sticks. It's the buttons. It's all of it. Yeah. Well, they got um, both men and female. Obviously, all the fighters and everything. I don't, I don't follow them very well, so I don't know. But it does look like it's pretty yeah. cool as well. But yeah, UFC. That's uh, out as well. Um, last thing I saw was. Um, the uh, I don't know Warcraft. I can't tell if this is mobile or not, but I mean it maybe, is. It yeah. is. Mm-hmm. Have you heard about that Warcraft Rumble? I I don't know anything about it, but I've heard about it or like I saw it. Yeah, it's mobile or it looks pretty good, right? I mean, I know everybody's playing know. Classic Clans, everybody's playing a Snap, all this stuff. I just didn't know if they were trying to get in in on the action because yeah, it, maybe, maybe yeah, it looks really good. And of course, Warcraft has been around you know since the beginning, so. Mm-hmm. Um, and they, they talked about the graphics, they updated everything. I meant, in fact, I think they, they launched it early. That was the cool thing about it. Um, they actually, I can't remember if it was um, if it was them, but I think it was. They actually launched, I think, on the 3rd or, or, no, today's what? Today's the 2nd. Mm-hmm. So I think they launched today on it when it wasn't supposed to be till like the 23rd or something like that. So they actually got it out early, mm. which is kind of fun. So yeah, if you're waiting for that or want to take a look at another cool uh, game... Um, uh, 
Warcraft again. Uh, Warcraft Rumble actually is the name of it out as well. So that's what uh, that's what we have. Anything else you saw in the news? Uh, not sure. Don't think so. No. That's it. Okay. That's the news. This concludes your joystick news report. Joystick news. All right. Um, not a lot to talk about on the riff rat. The riff, right? No, nothing cooking that you know. All right. One thing I did uh, did say. I um, mean, well, wait. Did the Meta Three come out, or did we talk about that last month? We talked about it, but but remember what I was uh, I was interested. In? We went out this week, and I saw those Ray Bands. Right mm-hmm. with the meta, and it got launched. They talked about oh, those right. Ray Bands, right? Mm-hmm. At the same time, they're talking about the the Quest Three and everything. Mm-hmm. And I guess I just assumed that it had some kind of AI oh, yeah. built into it. No right? visual, you're saying? There's nothing. No visuals. No, no heads right. up display. No nothing. There are sunglasses. That's it. But with two cameras on each side. They have cameras, and then they. I mean, they like you can control they, volume and stuff. Well, like they have some, they have like um, they have um, built-in speakers that weren't very good. Built-in speakers, think. ways to control, almost like they're, they're essentially AirPods, but sunglasses that right. also film. Yes, exactly. Um, yep. So they're literally that's what, exactly what they are. They're like a microphone with a camera. <laughs> um, uh, yes. I just thought it would be more camera. for two hundred ninety-nine bucks. I thought I'd get a little bit more. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I think, I think, glasses that are trying to do like AR technology and everything. I think those are, they're just they're looking too far ahead instead of I don't know. I don't, I think those aren't going to be perfected or even used for a long time. Yeah. So I think you're just wasting your money buying something like that. Yeah. Well, I mean, I remember back in the day when Google goggles came out, we got a pair, and that was much better. I mean, there's actually a heads-up display. Yeah, but those are still. Like yeah. I, I bet I guarantee you didn't use those very much. When no, you we didn't them. at all. Yeah. No, we didn't. It was cool while we had them, but then yeah. I think you know, wasn't walking around with them. That's for They're sure. not practical. So. No, not at all. I, so <clears throat> I thought maybe this was the first pair of glasses that were going to be somewhat practical. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, with heads up display, so I can see my phone or see I don't know if I'm playing a game or if I want just like you know some connection. Mm-hmm. I think there. someone will find some use for them, but they're just not general public. Well, probably skaters or people that like to like. Um, Even know. then, GoPros are better. Like just strapping go- GoPros on your chest, people do. True, true. Especially if you're skating, you sometimes it'll break, um, or head rests or right. head straps or whatever. But right. I don't know. I thought it was a little much, and I was uh, taken by surprise that, that the tech wasn't there. So, anyways, that's uh, that's wrapping. Deal of the week. All right. Um, uh, it's time for the. And what is that deal? Really, I mean, dare I say, we're coming up on Black Friday. Right? Because by the time we do this another show, it had hit Black Friday already. So, so that's what's expected. I mean, what sales are expected on Black Friday? Um, uh, GameStop has already got some uh, discounts that are set to go. Amazon, $25 off uh, a hard drive, or what is it, the uh, the Xbox One terabyte? I don't know if it's 25 bucks worth it. I don't know if that's a, hell, that's a deal, right? Here you go, PS5, because um, you talked about that, right? Similar to PS5, mm-hmm. we're expecting to see some huge discounts for the Xbox Series X. So you're going to see some kind of discount with mm-hmm. the Series 5 if you're looking to pick that up. Um, what else? Does the, I, know the ser- I know the Xbox Series X has the S version, which is like... Um, oh, no, I think the 5 has... Or the PS5. Yeah. Has a version of it that's the same exact thing, but it's cheaper and it doesn't allow you to put hard, like discs into it right it's all online right it's all online based, if which it's is the cheaper. same if it's the it's same the same thing that's the xbox so no, if, I it's know, the, but... if it's the same specs yeah then that might be good to look at the only problem is i wouldn't have um i don't know well, i'd have to figure it well, out what would you have though i mean it's not like you have any games for... well yeah i have the, uh, the old spider-man games those are my only physical, or I have a Oh, few because other here's the thing. Yeah, if you sell your PS4, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. If you sell that, then you're going to have. have nothing, uh, I'd have nothing for the physicals. Right. For sure. So I don't know. I'll figure it out. But. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's going to be some specials for sure um, going on the Black Friday sale. Um, I was just trying to see if there's anything special, like if they're, if they're given any idea of like pricing or anything. Um, because I know, like, uh, um, what was it? I saw something where they were talking about uh, trying to launch it even before Black Friday. Like, everybody creeps up early, right? On uh, saying, okay, yeah, we'll mm-hmm. do Black Friday, but here you go. Here's Black Friday on, you know, Wednesday before the holiday or something mm-hmm. like that. 
Um, so there is uh, already a, a PS5 Slim. I might be what you're talking about, Slim, mm -hmm. and Call of Duty Warfare 3 bundle. That's that's out already as well, or that's um, going to be available, and I think it's going to be released on November tenth, as well. So basically, the PS Five Slim, right? But, but actually, no, the Slim has the uh, the sl slit in it, the slit for the for the uh, discs, right? Uh, uh, for four ninety nine is what is what the number is, and it comes with Modern Warfare Three. Well, it's okay, right? I think it's the Slim Disc Edition, right? Which is different, but I don't know. Yeah, but oh, bundle with Spider Man. There you go. Mm -hmm. For five sixty. That's the that's the. But that's the full. Uh, let me look here. I think that's the full. I don't know. Shot. Yeah. So it's got the comes with the one terabyte mm -hmm. drive as well as uh, let's see the addition up to eight hundred twenty five gigabytes of original version of the console. Um. So Blu Ray discs. So it does. Yeah. Come with so discs. just a lot of deals. On Black Friday. Yeah. So take a look at it. See what's at US uh, Digital Edition four fifty, regular edition five hundred bucks. And of course, and if you get the game with it, they drop a few bucks off of that too. So that's looks looks like what it's gonna be across the board. So yep, another another season and another year of uh, console buying, most likely. Um as well. So um I know speaking of uh did you watch that I know this is a video game show uh Freddy's Five Nights? Mm -hmm. How was the movie? It was not very good. No, it was horrible. No, yeah, really not very good. You were telling me it's pretty bad, like the yeah. the ending. Not to spoil it, but not good. Yeah, it just fell off in the end. I okay. don't know. I just didn't enjoy it, and I, I've been liking horror movies recently. Yeah. Um, but that yeah. Not not good. So like not them. a good adaptation from a video game to a movie, huh? Oh, uh, no figure. Oh yeah. No. No. They, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let's take a look. Um, lastly, on um. Uh, new releases and see what we have here uh, new releases for what? Uh, what, what what month are we in? I don't even know uh, what month we're in so we're in November right uh -huh. um, or, uh, 2023 so what we have um, we have anything that we that looks even remotely good um, looks like we have oh isn't uh RoboCop. I don't really care about RoboCop. Oh. Uh, I know. What? Let me think. So RoboCop Rogue City is coming out. Uh, the Talus Principle too. I don't know. I haven't heard anything. That's that's hot or happening. Yeah, it's coming out. Uh, the Invin uh, Invincible. Uh, like a dragon. That's not good. Right here. Oh, well, it's just Modern Warfare 3. We already knew that, right? Mm -hmm. um, that's the, the main one coming up. Uh, Teardown. Oh, Assassin's Creed. Nexus. VR. There we go. That's what we should be talking about with the uh, the riff rap. Do you think that'd be good? I haven't heard anything on it, so Nothing I can't imagine it's going to be that great. It's bringing the all-star cast of its greatest assets to the Meta Quest devices in November. Assassin's Creed... From a first person's perspective, fans can experience the 18th century America during the American Revolution as Connor, I guess he was the guy that was part of the that series, right? Through the 15th century Italian Wars. So they're putting them all together on VR for you to pick up yeah. and try. I don't know. And then, of course, what do we got here? Naruto X Boruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Connections? That's the next... Uh, the game that we've played with you, the yeah. four, the fourth version, that's right. the next one that's coming out, the when, fifth one. When's that coming out? You're going to get that? That's going to be huge. Maybe. I don't know. That's got definitely console bound, right? Yeah. For sure. Oh, because it's got Boruto and all the characters in Boruto? Yeah, the, I guess See, I can't play it. that. I haven't watched that yet. I don't even know them all. Yeah. Brutal. Uh, but that's awesome coming out. And then uh, Super Mario RPG, uh, uh, a role-playing game. Has long been awaited for for Nintendo fans, right? For that, so I think they, they did something back in like '96, if I remember. Talking about old school, yeah. Right? But they're talking about creating that um, due out. I think well. a lot of their projects are, are that are coming up are kind of redos of what they did before. Right, nothing new on it. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. I'm just looking through the rest of it to see Vampire: The Masquerade Juice. For uh, PlayStation VR um, and Quest, so there's a VR as well. 
So he said that it doesn't seem like there's a lot, but yet we're seeing some good stuff here for VR, at least coming out. Um, Hogwarts Legacy for the Switch on November 14th. Did I mention the date on the Assassin's Creed? And the, the VR is coming out on the 16th, November 16th. Okay. Oh, Boruto. Uh, Naruto and Boruto is November 17th. And that's out for PS5, Xbox, uh, Xbox One, too, believe it or not. So the original as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's going back and Switch. I bet the graphics aren't awesome. You know on I mean? Switch, probably not. No, but I mean, like, if it's on the Xbox One, I think that they'd have to maybe adjust I don't know. It. I, I think know. it's more... I think the graphics are going to be great. I think it's more... Um, or at least comparatively. Yeah. I think it's more the performance that you got gotcha. to worry about. And then, of course, the last one we mentioned, uh, Super Mario, the role-playing game for Switch, is November 17th. That's yeah. what it is. It's coming out, so... That's it. All right, anything else? I think that's it, the show, right? We wish you guys a, a happy Thanksgiving, right? I don't mm -hmm. know if we're going uh, to jump back on this, so look for Black Fridays. Let us know uh, what you picked up, and uh, love to hear um, the stories of what's hot and what's not as we keep uh, moving forward on this, and we'll uh, pick it up here in December. So appreciate you listening, and uh, again, if they want to get a hold of us and let us know what's going on, how do they do it? You can do it, uh, joystickshow at gmail.com, joystickshow.com, at joystick underscore show on our Twitter, and then as well as our Discord at joystick space show. Very cool. All right, folks, and uh, Rumble Pack, we appreciate you listening each and every week. Until next time, or each and every what month? <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. right. Until next time, game on. Joystick. The joystick show.